welcome uh, to this uh, today's tutorial today i want to show you something uh, you can play uh, maybe during prayer time or uh, when uh, the pastor is talking or anyone is just talking and you don't want to play a song uh, very simple progression very simple uh, something that you can use in all the 12 different keys i will demonstrate it uh, i usually like uh, you know showing people uh, very simple things things that you can just use today or even tomorrow or even on sunday in your service uh, so uh, let's i'll use key c and maybe it, uh, try other different keys maybe not all the 12 but uh, very few other keys once you get it in one or two keys you're good to go in all the other uh, different keys so let's uh, i'll start with i'll show you in c C is uh, quite a very uh, quite simple key because it's all white. So um, so one is uh, C, two uh, D is uh, two E is three F four uh, G is five A is six B is seven. We're back to C. So. Let's use, let's take, uh, the, the position is very simple, it's just a 4, 5, and a 6. That is all you're going to play, uh, but probably we'll add a few other things to make it sound good. You'll probably hear so many people playing something. you can play anywhere because okay there are songs that maybe use that progression but not most songs so if you play something like that during a church service maybe if someone is just speaking and then you're like very simple So four, six, and five. So the initial progression was four, six, and five. Oh, sorry. Then again four, five. So um, what you realize is uh, I played uh, F on the root position. But uh, six, I went into the second inversion, and then I went back to G from the root position. On the root position, I mean. So <clears throat> it's a very simple progression. Uh, let's say we we uh, maybe at the end of a song. So maybe that was a, a phrase. So for grace to trust You can continue playing the same. Oh, for grace to trust in Oh, for grace to trust in Oh, trust in And then you finish. So if we continue playing that song, there are people that probably will sing the song and probably they, they need to pray. So we just come and, and just start playing. Then four. And 
26. progression uh, because you can't just play that's a very <laughs> simple way of playing just a uh, four and six and five uh, even the five I can do this uh, inversion so start by adding maybe things like three to four and then you can do Fashions the way you want, you can add a few things in it. So, um, you can just play, nobody will be distracted with that. You know, uh, people can make new songs using that progression, people can just play, uh, pastor can just be speaking, though, when someone is speaking, can now slow it down, maybe something like. Simple progression, and uh, so, um, so let's say we 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 are done with the song. Oh, oh, oh. strings no if let's say you are using a keyboard that has strings and pads this one, this one doesn't have a lot of things but if i use a software i am able to put different sounds so <coughs> maybe just play Uh, let's take a crazy song. Let's say we are in.
I finished the song. Take for example uh, Kila A, maybe F sharp. that That is the progression, very simple progression. Just four, six, five. But now you can add a seven, one, three. Yeah.
something about how uh, <coughs> you can add a few things on this uh, on this progression so that it just not just like uh, four, six, five. Now you can play with these chords. You can play with let me say a three or something like a four. Just just changing it up, you know. So it sounds better at a six. Maybe a five. No. Very simple, no? Same progression, something just changed a bit, you know. So just learn all these things, diff all the different keys, like let's say. Same progression, same thing. So basically that's our progression for today. Just uh, use that idea to in different all the keys, uh, invert them the way you want. That is very simple. God bless you. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>